Hey guys, I'm here today to show you how I've made this magnetic stirrer. Now, um, you'll see this in labs just about everywhere. And uh, they start at about $100 from online stores, chemistry stores, just for the basic thing. And um, they'll go anywhere up to about 1000 for the ones with the hot plates and the really fancy features. Now, um, just a note. I have no background in engineering or electrical engineering or anything like that. This is just something I do as a hobby. So uh, just anyone can do it. It's not it's not very hard to do. I'm going to put a couple of videos up later showing you how to do the very basics in case you don't already know. And um, yeah, let's get started. So what I've got here is a um, is an old lunchbox. And uh, what I've done is I've taken an old PC fan and glued two neodymium magnets, otherwise known as rare earth magnets. Um, about the same distance from the center, just so when it spins it's not off center. And um, I put an old tic tac box just underneath it to hold it up high enough underneath the, the top so that the magnetics can work. And uh, just close that back up. Here I've got um, an old laptop charger which laptop broke down kept the charger just in case and what well, you know it came in useful and uh, these two components are from an old steering wheel for my PC which um, again doesn't work anymore so I decided to take it apart and uh, found some pretty cool components in there actually these were the main components in there the steering wheel was just a glorified light switch and uh, for the stir bar what I've done is I've taken the tip of this pen and um, glue two of those magnets that we saw earlier just on either end got to make sure you get the poles right otherwise one could stick and the other one will stick up and won't work kind of annoying to have to re-glue it all which is what I had to do and uh, let's give her a test spin all right so just turn it on and it's got two speeds there's speed one As you can see, it's actually already to the bottom. Here we go to speed two. There you go. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions about how I've made it or what I've used, um, feel free to post down below. Um, this is my first video and I plan to make a couple of more do-it-yourself videos on stuff that I just feel like building so uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to follow that. Have yourself a nice day.